Hello everyone, this is Amanita. So in this Pick a Pile reading today, this is on what is your purpose? What is your divine purpose? We have three piles here. And for the first pile, this is a tiny Laramar crystal. This is a red tiger's eye. And this is a serpentine. So the timestamp will be in the description box. And I will see you in your pile or your Hello to those of you who chose the Laramar crystal. So we're going to be on the inquiry of what is your purpose? What is your divine purpose? So we have kindness. So in this life, you are meant to be very kind to people. You're meant to possibly even be generous, be sweet, be forgiving, be gentle, be graceful. Because um, this is like a lilac color. So this kind of kindness is more of like a a more deep and spiritual kind of gentle kindness, compassionate, gentle kindness. We have Gaian Awakening, preparing relocation and ascension. And we have Manifestation, prosperity, fortune, and pure intentions. Four of Swords, the Princess of Swords and the Four of Wands. So we have two fours here. Something that I get for you guys is that you might be doing work in this life where you're healing your inner child or healing other people's inner, inner child, their wounded inner child. Kind of because I can see you doing something that involves your voice, like your gentleness, um, your kindness, where you might be doing some sort of hypnotherapy or past life regression or something where you get someone in like a relaxed state where you can access their kind of inner child and access their all their records and um, help them to heal from those things to align their life and to the moment of now to help people let go of the past and to help people move on and move into the present moment and move into the things that they wish to accomplish in their life and the things that they wish to achieve and i do feel like you could also be someone who helps a lot of people in their relationships and play like matchmakers sometimes for some people so we have the heart chakra Four, the frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and body. So this light is extremely bright to me right now. And uh, my eyes are watering really bad. So I'm getting a sense that you guys are very sensitive as well. And you might help children or people who are very sensitive in some capacity because you have you have all this kindness to you you have this love to share and you have this abundance of kindness and this abundance of love to share with people amethyst healing is coming to completion expect great results and you are safe so really your purpose when you came into here was really to heal your inner child that's a big theme of your life, like having to do some sort of transmutation energies where you had to do a lot of kind of forgiveness, um, ho, ho pono pono, you know, like that Hawaiian prayer of forgiveness. I have a feeling that you've always been sensitive since you were a child and you have had to learn how to manage this and how to come together and work with people and let them know what's on your mind and let them learn how to speak up for, you, uh, for yourself as well. And learn how to protect your own energy too. So we have Sir Nano's Life Force. Express your driving passion, sensual and sexual desires are increased. And we have cut your cords. So yeah, I do have the sense that your purpose in this life, you had to cut a lot of cords with people. You might have came in this life with the feeling of having um, like past karmas with people that you've had to cut off people that you didn't particularly want to come and cut off but it was for your own awakening it was for your own ascension it was for you to be able to move on so big theme in your life 
was to have to contemplate who's right for you in your life and who isn't, who you should be aligning your energy with and who you shouldn't be, who you should be letting go of. And, um, and you've helped other people with this as well. So we have a lot of things coming in for like relationships and your heart, cutting cords, just knowing who's right for you and knowing who's not and feeling safe in the world too, because I do get that sense as a child, you weren't recognized like for all your great ideas and for all your talents and skills. And it's about recognizing yourself too and getting together with people who are of like minds who who have the same values as you and who are, you know, like I said, of like minds who think the same as you. And um, I have also another sense like you care a lot about animals. You're very kind, you love animals, you love nature. Maybe you do love crystals as well. You might have a very spiritual connection to the earth and to the world and to yourself and to others. And it might be hard for you to understand like when other people just weren't the same as you and who weren't as kind as you and who didn't love as much as you. And that was something that you had to learn how to preserve your own energy and um, to protect your energy field and to um, to know who's right for you and who isn't. And, but it's a really, a lot about healing for you in this life because my eyes are just in so much pain right now. It's like not wanting to see things that are going on. Um, just being really sensitive to what's happening right in front of your eyes and there's maybe like you have seen things that were just really horrible in your life and that you had to cut off these people and that you really didn't want to cut off because they just weren't serving you and they're draining your energy is you're very empathetic to people so that you can bring this abundance into your life cutting off the people who are blocking the abundance from flowing into your life and um, it's like manifesting your dreams too. You came here to manifest your dreams and manifest your heart's desire to take action on those things that you're really passionate about and that you love to do and and maybe something that you love to do is to help people to cut cords with people who aren't serving you to serving them. Um, I guess with our manifestation card coming in the life force so you have your heart and you dreaming having big dreams and maybe these are even from like you've always had these ideas from when you were a child and you really want to see them happen you really are like having to prepare these to come into being having the ground set in place having everyone ready to go um i also feel like something for you guys might be that you might be into doing ritual work ceremony in some way something that is really important to you that is very healing to you as well but it's about like as you're healing yourself and you're healing others and amethyst is um very protective amethyst is an amazing crystal if you don't have an amethyst i do recommend that you get one they're not hard to find because amethyst is a crystal that's protective and it really honors any anyone who's sensitive to energy like it helps with your intuition so you know catching people who just aren't right for you and it's going to help to protect you from those people it's going to help with the third eye and crown chakra so your connection to to all and your intuition your visions your insights because i do think that you're someone who's very creative very visionary you have great ideas um you're very colorful um creative so I'm going to read you this card for Sir Nanos however you say his name and also like my throat is feeling kind of like it's hard to talk so another thing for you guys is learning how to speak learning how to use your voice um, learning how to stand up for yourself because you're someone who's so kind that you know cutting cords and speaking up for yourself and letting that inner child out too, like seeing the world through childlike eyes and bringing this love to humanity and bringing this beautiful, like creative, loving, kind energy, very right brain 
um, very creative, very intuitive, very loving, connected to the animals, connected to nature. So, and of course, you know, you're following that heart's desire. Uh, so, pronounce Kernanos, also known as Hearn, is a Celtic stag god who represents connection to the earth. He is one of the oldest recognized Celtic gods and features on the Gundestrup cauldron, a great silver vessel from the Iron Age. He is the lover of the Great Mother and impregnates the land so that we will be filled with life. He can help us form a connection with the animal spirits and the ancestors of our land. So I do really feel like you guys are very connected to animals. Um, animal communication might be something important to you guys or doing something with plants. I feel like you guys might be very connected with your ancestors and really carrying on their lineage of what your ancestors have left behind for you to do. Like this is something that's um, a bond that's been formed between your bloodline and the earth and your bloodline and the animal kingdom. So you might feel very connected to the animals in some way or ancestors or um, like ancient practices, shamanistic practices might be something that you feel very connected with. So there's a deep buildup of life force within you now and a need to channel it into action. You may have extra energy or be more alert than usual or be aware of a sense of increased sensual or sexual energy. If you have been unsure how this ties into your spiritual path, know that it can allow you to access the richness of your soul. When we are not expressing ourselves sexually, our spiritual potential can become tamed or muted. So if you are denying yourself a, a desire, ask yourself how you can fulfill it. Ask Kernanos to help you to access your sexual self so that you can express it with integrity and in a way that honors your soul. If you and your partner are trying for a child and this child appears, fertility is very possible, especially if Bridget Kernanos' twin flame is present too. So with you guys, I really do feel you guys have a lot of life force energy. You have a lot of um, a lot of sexual energy, a lot of feminine energy, attractive energy within you to attract and manifest these things into your life. Like you might find that you might visualize something and it just appears for you. Like very connected spiritually, so you might find that you manifest very easily. And I'm feeling here what we're seeing is the reason for your manifestation is for the pro for the reason of healing though um, this is using your life force energy to heal to know that you're safe in this world because for some of you um, when you were a child you might not have been allowed to express yourself the way that you see fit and you might have had to cut people off in your life because of that because you're really meant to express yourself and to not hold back and to not feel shameful for who you are and to really follow your heart and to not feel like anything like raw or passionate or primal desires like to not feel like desires are wrong too to really feel worthy of what your heart wants and what your heart desires and to dream a big dream and to create this life for yourself and to heal from um from those things that have happened to you and you know cut those cords so that you can manifest this life of your dreams and come together with people who feel the same like for some of you you might really be looking for a partner too like in a very literal sense where you guys come together and you guys kind of have similar experiences and you guys create something together you guys heal together you guys have a child together maybe you guys come together and and you have a like a lot of you might have come here wanting to become a parent and wanting to just be a mom and to give your love to something, you know? Because um, it's a, a very loving and kind and gentle and feminine energy. And it's about really pouring your love into something, whether that is a child or that is a creative project. A child is a creative project in a way, so whatever that is for you. So I'm gonna pull an animal card for you to see what you need to be focusing on right now to be fulfilling your purpose. So 
So we have the scorpion, the five of branches. So with this, I'm feeling like you guys letting go of any jealousy or resentment you have towards things that have happened, like not feeling vengeful and not feeling jealous and being able to, to forgive those people from your past and to move on, to not get dragged into any conflicts with anyone from, from your past in any way or to anyone who's trying to engage in some fight with you and to just take this time to focus on yourself and what your needs are and um, to not feel like you need to to prove anything um, to just really know yourself and to not you know just it's about moving on from these conflicts and these hurts and these craziness that's happening in your life it's about taking kind of a step back from that so that you can heal from all this craziness that is going on right now to find your calm and to find your center so that you can heal so I'm going to roll the dice for you guys for what your purpose is so we have Mars energy which has to do with action it has to do with assertion Mars actually goes really well with this Kernanos card because this is about your desires this is about um, you going out and getting what you want and this is going out and getting what your heart wants and we have so many I just realized we have um we have four 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 so we have three fours and um, that equals 12 which equals three which is about your self-expression as well so I feel like for you guys you know four is a number of structure it's a number of stability it's about being calm it's about being centered in yourself and having an established foundation, having a security in your life, um, laying down the groundwork, you know? Um, with Capricorn energy, that is structure, that is um, work. 10th house energy is the same. This is about this is about you, what you do in the outer world. So this is about you. Um, you might do work with children. You might do work with people's inner child too, to help them to heal. But this is about you working and you laying down foundations and you laying down structures and you putting something out into the world that is from your heart and um, to achieve those desires that you have within you. His 10th house energy has to do with authority. It has to do with responsibilities, both Capricorn and 10th house. These are things that you came here to do. You came here to learn how to to take responsibility for your desires, for your needs, for your heart. And um, let's see if we can get any other messages for you guys. We have 10th house energy again, so that public recognition for you might be something really important. 10th um, house being structures, authority, it's how you're seen and what you're known for. This might be something very important to you, especially with Leo coming on here. Leo is also the inner child. This is all about you expressing yourself. You expressing yourself and having no shame in that too. It's about confidence, being bold, being expressed. Saturn energy too. This is about laying down structures, laying down foundations. This is a reoccurring theme in your life. You have Saturn, the 10th house and Capricorn, which are all very similar. And these are all about responsibilities. These are about duties. These are about lessons, structures, authority. Just being responsible. Um, maybe being a parent too. Um, being an authority figure. Being someone who takes responsibility. Being someone who lays down structures. Being someone who works. These might be things that are very important in your life for what your purpose is. But these are structures based on love, based on kindness, um, because I get the feeling you might be very upset about what you do see going on, and that's why you came here to be the change for what you do want to see happen and to really manifest something big, manifest these long-lasting, like this is your legacy, bringing your legacy to the world. And so that's what I have for you guys. Thank you for watching, everyone. And I will see you in my next video. Hello, everyone who chose this red tiger's eye. So let's see what your purpose is and your divine purpose. So we have love, 
Well, that's a wonderful thing to see. Love being your divine purpose. So you're here to love. You're here to be a lover. You're here to embrace love. That's wonderful. To spread love, to embrace love. Sacral portal, creativity, intimacy, and inhibition. The promise, soulmates, attraction, and partnership. You are someone very loving. You're someone um, who likes to bring people together. You're someone maybe who really um, has a strong focus on relationships or possibly collective. It's spreading universal love. Very romantic energy. Just intimacy is very important to you guys. And this is about like merging with people. This is about like a soul connection with people. We have the High Priestess, Justice, and the King of Cups. So I feel like you guys can be relationship counselors. Um, okay, so like one thing I thought of, one thing I saw was like, maybe even doing something like this, like doing love readings for people in the form of whether that's like through tarot, counseling, astrology, there's like synastry, but it's like, you being an objective too to like observing other people's relationships and equality within relationships this is very like about uniting people type of energy and equality together so you guys i feel like you guys are very intuitive you have a good sense for you know what is right like what is true what is not like you can be objective when it comes to love, you just want equality for people. You want there to be balance. You want there to be harmony. And this is what you bring into the world. You bring balance and you bring harmony. We have Garnet. Family and ancestral connections, bloodlines. A clan gathering, occasion, birthday, or anniversary is approaching. Some like celebration type of energy. Like just connections between people. I feel like this goes way back to... I feel like this goes way back to like your bloodlines where um this is like i'm like thinking of, of those arranged marriages and like royal bloodlines being in like some family of like a specific bloodline getting with specific arranged things going on like this might be something that goes way back so we have gaia the frequency of gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all. So everything in here shows you connecting people together, you bringing intimacy between people, you bringing balance, you bringing love, you bringing harmony. It's very Libra energy. This is the Libra card. This is the moon card, which has to do with um, your emotional needs. So King of Cups and being like overseeing emotional matters as well but you can take this objective approach to the emotional matters, but you're all about love, you're all about connection, you're all about balance, you're all about harmony, you're all about all these Libra kind of qualities, and reminding everyone that we are all connected, that we all are, that the struggles that we go through aren't separate from one another, we are all going through this, and you kind of remind us all of that, and you, you bring us together again. We have hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. You're all about love. Like, look at all this love coming in. Infinite possibilities. You guys are about just connecting everyone together. These look very similar to me right now. Gaia and infinite possibility. On Earth, we have this infinite possibility. Seeing beyond, like, having hope is... Hope brings, like, magic. Hope brings magic sometimes. It's like with this you guys bring the harmony you guys bring the love you guys bring the hope you guys um accept people as they are you're unbiased to people if someone ever has a problem you're not you're so loving but you had to okay first of all let me say that you had to learn how to do this for yourself though but first of all you had to learn all these qualities, you had to learn love and acceptance and hope and infinite possibility for yourself and to really embrace and open your heart and open your sacral and to be, um, be intimate with people. This is all about love and intimacy and relationships and harmony. 
because the King of Cups, he's the Scorpio card. So he has all to do with intimacy and shared resources. And this being the Libra card, she has all to do with balance. She has all to do with harmony, all to do with relationships. And this is all about you being someone, a conductor of love and harmony between others, between a relationship. And you finding someone that you can be intimate with, that you can have a soul connection with. Because intimacy might have been hard for you to learn. Um, you might have had like, you having to learn how to trust. Um, and having this, this strong connection to the divine feminine and to the earth as well. That we're infinitely connected. Infinite possibility, we're infinitely connected. We can do anything together. And this is why you have so much hope and optimism because you know that we're infinitely connected and infinitely we have infinite possibility. And therefore, there's no reason for us to get to fight because we can do anything together. If we all come together and work together, we can do anything. And you really harmonize people. You stop the fighting. You bring us all together. So let me read you hope. This, you guys are just a rainbow. You guys are a rainbow. Okay, let me read you hope. Hope is an angel who is dedicated to promoting the idea that we on earth are loved, cherished, and supported by the kingdom of heaven. She is all about helping us to see the light beyond whatever darkness we are in. Traveling is a part of the Holy Trinity, faith, hope, and charity. She helps us recognize that hope isn't about wishing for something good to happen or help to arrive, but trusting that support is already present. Hope is the twin flame of Archangel Gabriel. She has a gentle presence and she is absolutely glorious. She sings sweet harmonies to us in these songs and ways of love, washing away anything that stands between us and love and self-love and acceptance. And that is what you do. You are this hope card and that is what you do. You unite us all, like whether it be um, partnership, relationship, friendship, any sort of relationship, you unite all of us. You don't see you know, like you have so much hope, like you know that we're supported by the earth, you know that we're supported by the world, and you know that it's gonna be okay, and you trust in the world too, like trust is something very important in your life that you really had to learn how to do and how to had to open yourself up to, had to open yourself up to others and embrace love. Um, let me finish reading hope, okay. Angels are gathering around you in celebration that you are finally willing to see how loving and lovable you are. So this is also about you learning how lovable that you are. Um, because you might not have realized, like, like, wow, I'm lovable, I'm worthy, I'm, um, I'm powerful. Like, we're all powerful together. And we can come together and do amazing things, and we can accomplish so many things together. And I, I do think that you see these possibilities very clearly. Like, you have this intuitive sense of what someone needs and um, what someone's going through, and you know what they need to feel, to feel well again. Like, because you had to learn this for yourself, this might have been something, like, really big in your life that you did have to learn how to do. But you know how to, how to get others' needs met because you just, you just know. You know what they need. You see what they need. And you see it very clear with the high priestess, very intuitive, um, especially in terms of relationships. You're that relationship counselor. So, hope is here with her legion of love, an of love angels, guiding you to see that you deserve loving relationships, loving experiences, and loving acceptance from the world around you. It seems that you are really moving beyond the limitations that you once had in this department. But know that whatever you do, question your but know that whenever you do question your worth, you can call upon hope to shine her golden light upon you. Your angels want you to know that they love and cherish you and that they're grateful that you're giving yourself the same support. So this is something that you do because you had to learn how to do this for yourself. You have had questions of your own worth and your own possibilities and your own potential. And this is why like, you know when other people need some of that in their life. You know when people need someone to bring in that hope for them and to be like you know like you're amazing at this thing like you know uh, you really recognize what people how people are so special and how we're all how we all um, make up this whole 
how we all play this role that we're all like our own star and you really recognize that in other people you recognize what how how they're valuable how amazing everyone is as an individual so I'm going to pull one of these animal cards to see what you need to do right now to be fulfilling your purpose So we have the polar bear, who is the seeker of shells. The seeker of shells, this is the knight of, uh, of cups. So very compassionate energy. This is about following your heart's desire, following your intuition, taking action upon your intuition, going after what your heart wants, going after what your heart needs, going after what your heart is craving for, and showing this love and compassion to other people. Because as we have here, you're very, um, you're romantic. Um, you're compassionate, you're, you're loving, you're, um, you follow your heart always, and this is exactly what you need to be doing to fulfill your purpose here, is to be following your heart and to showing other people love. And so let me roll the dice. So with sun energy, this is about your self-expression, this is about, so this might be just you expressing yourself, you're, you expressing that you're loving, you expressing your need for intimacy, you're, uh, you expressing your depth. Um, this is about life, this is about joy, this is about your conscious expression, your personality. And Capricorn energy has to do with structure, it has to do with stability, it has to do with hard work, it has to do with discipline. It has to do with um, spirit into matter, so it's about you bringing, bringing form from spirit. And first house energy has to do with you. So this all kind of like about you. You bring people together. You bring these gatherings. You bring these. There's really something about your bloodline, so when your family and ancestral connections, so that's really important. Something about, you know, having a, a gathering, like a group of people coming together, you know, with Garnet. And let me see. You have you, though, establishing kind of structure, establishing authority here, kind of being a little serious. You are serious when it comes to other people's like needs. You are very serious when it comes to people knowing like that love is theirs and to know that their their divine worth. It's something that is really important to you that people know this. Like equality is is really important to you. Intimacy is really important. And we do have you're someone very creative. You might show this through your art. Um, and intimacy, intuition here. Really, so much love. Got these roses here. Um, you might work with crystals too. You might help people heal like any blockages around their worth, their intimacy. You might be like uh, work with chakras, especially like the heart, solar plexus, sacral. Um, I'm seeing that for you guys a lot with these colors of nature, the sunset, uh, Aurora Boros, like this is sunset, something about the sunset for you guys, just wanting to make sure everyone is, everyone is accounted for, everyone's taken care of, everyone's getting their turn, everyone's knowing their worth. And keeping everyone's uh, hope alive, keeping them alive, their love, their passion burning. And so, is this is a cobra. It's like a cobra right here, like Kundalini stuff, like uniting, um, yoga. What else can we get for you guys? 
this work to do with the heart uh, always this love energy bringing that hope compassion love to people and um, yeah that's what I have for you guys for now so please comment on the video and I'll see you next time hello everyone it shows the serpentine so let's see what your purpose what your divine purpose is so we have give so for you guys learning to give and receive learning that quality learning that balance between giving and receiving i'm also seeing like heart energy like healing energy too giving of your talents giving of your skills giving of what you have to offer so have challenges, flux, fears, and negativity, betrayal, dreamscape, dream work, subconscious, imagination, and magic. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow beyond, to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move towards possibilities and expressions that are grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. So something for you guys, you had to really have had to learn, you've had a lot of challenges in your life, you've had a lot of tribulations, a lot of blocks, a lot of fears, a lot of negativity, and this is probably stuff that's been in your subconscious for a long time that's kind of kept you in like certain patterns and certain cycles. And um, this might have to do with in your relationships too, that it happens, it doesn't have to be in relationships, but it's something that goes on like in your subconscious mind and a lot of this is about having to, like it says, grow and expand beyond this moment and move into possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. And here we have the dreamscape, which is all about dream work, uh, subconscious, imagination. So this is something really important in your life, your ability to visualize, your ability to imagine, your ability to dream, your ability to tap into the subconscious mind. And more about your dreams coming in, dream fulfillment. Okay, so I do feel like you guys are very, you guys are very imaginative. Um, tapping into that inner child, tapping into like your, your creative and energetic inner child is something that's going to be like seeing the world through childlike eyes. We have you with like maybe um you know if you had an imaginary friend like two to um to to two so talking to these imaginary friends like i've seen you as being very connected to like elementals like being a you might be into dragons unicorns maybe you're into fairies the fairy realms stream realms here imaginative realms too but you tapping into your inner child is something that is really going to help you on your purpose here tapping into your imagination and your creativity to get beyond like these challenges too and i feel like you like alchemy like you creating something new you um you combining things together that are unlikely to like go together but you combining these things together and it um, creating this magic that helps you go beyond these challenges. But we have you a lot about finding this emotional fulfillment, this emotional satisfaction. Here, this woman is sitting on cloud nine. She's living her dream life. She's living the life of her dreams. And with the princess of wands being like vital, lively energy, this is just living like a dream life, living an imaginative life, living, I mean, not going too far with it, you know, but I really see you tapping into those dreams, tapping into your imagination, um, those like other realms, um, elemental realms and everything, um, astral projection type of things. I'm seeing that as something that you just tapping into those like those kind of magical things that are going beyond what is logical that we can explain. And with the Ace of Swords, like these are ideas coming in. I feel like you're someone who is 
gets a lot of messages from spirit because like I'm just seeing these like eyes behind this sword so like this idea here like someone's giving you this idea um you communicating with beings like of other realms and like other places that you can't see with the physical eyes a lot of time like I'm just seeing that for you guys a lot. We have lapis lazuli. The answers are within. Meditate. Psychic visions and dreams are forming your new directions. Trust what you see. So you tapping into your intuition, you tapping into your psychic abilities, you tapping into that inner beauty, that expression, that inner child, that's something that's like you remembering what did you do as a child and you doing those things, like you really tapping into that intuition, that um, like clairvoyant ability that um all the clairs clairvoyant claircognizant all your clairs like tapping into those uh we have krishna devotion trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally i feel like you guys are very spiritual people like you're really tapped into those like unconscious and subconscious realms and you make contact with these realms and you doing this like is going to help you move on a lot from these challenges like I feel like you do these things but you've had people tell you like that oh this isn't real oh that's a waste of time oh you shouldn't do that oh you should do something more practical and like these might have been things that you had playing out in your head in your subconscious mind for a while and I feel like this you should give this to yourself you should give yourself like that permission to do what you love and to tap into those things that you did as a child and to let your to let your vitality come alive to let your joy to let your luster life come out and to play like this is about playing for you um let me read you krishna devotion because i really feel like you guys are very devoted to these other realms as you would call them it's something that's you came here to kind of tap into these realms so, Krishna. Okay, hold on. Krishna. Krishna is a Hindu god who is known as a, a Mahavatar, great avatar, and embodies divine wisdom. One of India's best loved gods, he's approachable, kind, loving, supportive, and supportive guide. He's a peaceful being with a great love for all people and animals. He is often depicted with a calf or lamb, which is a symbol of innocence, and a peacock feather on his head, which is said to honor the Divine Feminine. So first, I wanted to stop for a second because there's a peacock feather right here that I was looking at, that I was attributing this to like beauty and everything, like, and this being an expression of the, to honor the Divine Feminine as well. This is about, really for you guys, honoring the Divine Feminine, honoring the um, the negative polarity, the feminine polarity, the subconscious polarity, the unconscious polarity. I'm just seeing these eyes in the shadows here, like all the dreamscape, all the dreamer tapping into your intuition, tapping into your psychic ability, and um, other realms, you know. That's something that is really important to you guys. You guys are very kind, though. You guys are very childlike in nature you see the world through childlike eyes you love animals you love elementals maybe you know you love the fairy realms you love all those kind of things you love plants and doing those things is a huge part of your purpose and so he was a spiritual guide of the warrior soul arjuna as related in the hindu epic Bhava Gita, which really is a story of choosing love over fear and helps us move beyond the limitation and wars of our, our ego creates in our mind and maybe even in the world around us. His twin flame is Radha. So what I see for you guys, you've always had this connection, but you've had like people tell you that you shouldn't be doing this in some manner. And um, and these were things that your, you, your ego would be telling yourself, like you'd really attach this to yourself like to say like you shouldn't be doing this but this is a big part of your purpose here to be able to give yourself permission to do this thing and with magic here what was that noise okay with magic here this is about you tapping into your magic you tapping into those unexplainable 
abilities. You tapping in those unexplainable things happening. Um, and we have yes, yes, give yourself permission. Um, this is confirmation for a lot of you to allow yourself to be free and to allow yourself to tap into those those other realms and that you are on the right path and you are on the right purpose. This is confirmation for a lot of you guys who have these who have these challenges, who have these blocks, who have these fears, who, who don't know if what is going on is even real, who don't know if they're on the right path. But this is confirmation for a lot of you, like yes, like it's time to be free. It's you have been recognized for everything that you're doing and and uh, to trust what is happening for you. This is confirmation. We have so many of the, you know, this is, this is like a really relieving energy right now to, for a lot of you guys to be hearing this because a lot of you have thought like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Is this even real? Like, well, you're watching this video right now and here we are telling you, yes, this is real. Yes, you are on the right path. Yes, give yourself permission to do this and um and yeah so let me continue reading krishna to you you have a deep spiritual connection and must trust the guidance that's coming through your devotion to the spiritual path has been recognized and may feel as if you've been on a mental emotional battlefield but there are sweet messages of hope around you now krishna is here to boost your sense of connection to the divine and to encourage you to act from your soul if a decision needs to be made ask yourself what will honor your soul and those around you. If you can choose the best for all those involved, then you will feel even closer to the divine. So this is just confirmation for you guys. Like you have been working on your spiritual connection for so long and everyone knows, like they're saying, we know, like we know that you're doing this. Yes, we recognize you. Yes, keep doing your, keep doing this. Um, this is your purpose. This is what you're here to do. So let me pull an animal card for you guys to tell us what what you need to be doing right now to be fulfilling this purpose. So we have the blue jay. It's the five of feathers. The fives are all about challenges. They're all about, you know, tribulation. So we have these birds in the background who are like, jealous like that this bird has all this stuff for him right here he's got all these like little twigs these little stars and these birds are just like oh well, like look at this guy so it's really about letting go of any jealousy or resentment that you have towards anyone or um to really just because recognizing that you didn't want this anyway this wasn't for you this is for you this is your purpose focus on this thing that you do um, and to let go of of these challenges and blocks and negativity around it while comparing yourself to other people you're like you're not perfect and you can't do everything but you came here to do what you came here to do and to just let this guy do what he does and to be happy for him if you can and to focus on you turn the other way don't even focus on what he's doing and do your own thing um, and not having this toxic comparison so let me roll the dice for you guys. It's like taking your L's where it's needed. And um, you know, it's like just knowing you didn't want that anyway. And you focusing on that, you focusing on this so much when you could be focusing on your dreams um, and what's true to you is not serving you is basically all I'm saying. Um, it doesn't mean you can't have these things. It just means it just means that focusing all your energy on this is not serving you and we need to put more energy and focus into our what we're playing with what we're doing what we love um our dreams our dream comes true dream come true our spirituality or connection and um what our ideas are building our projects rather than that so that's what we need to do right now to to be fulfilling our purpose let's put this into action so let's see what your purpose is. Aquarian energy is all about being original, being unique. So you 
so yes, you are here to do something different, very different from what other people, very unconventional energy. You're here, um, this is also humanitarian work too. This is being a humanitarian, doing work for groups and collectives, but being original, being unique, being you, and not being afraid to be you. No matter how weird that that is. We have seventh house energy, which has to do with your partnerships. It has to do with relationships, how you relate to other people. So this is part of your purpose is you relating to other people in some way or you, um, your relationships or your partnerships in some manner. Maybe even your relationship to the divine, um, to yourself. Um, but this can all be, this, I'm seeing this as like a lot of you, this is your relationship to, to, um, the, your spiritual connections. And Mercury is about, Mercury is the messenger. He sends messages between all other, between all realms. So you might be someone that, uh, who does some sort of channeling or you make your own videos or you use your communication in some way to bring forth kind of spiritual information or bring forth whatever it is that you're doing. Um, communication in some manner is important to you. So, let me see if there's anything else for you guys. I'm gonna take a look at this card and see. It's like putting down the weapons. Um, Cause we have this mist that is to be cleared but it's like you're going into the mist though you're going into the mist and seeing for yourself here you are sitting on the mist um, and uh, ancient, like Egypt might be important to you, pyramids, the Ankh symbol, immortality, you know, we have butterflies, the transformation, uh, and freedom. Lapis lazuli is about following your inner truth. A lot of blue energy, so a lot of like kind of third eye energy here. But I really see you guys seeing the world through childlike eyes and tapping into that psychic ability for yourself. And Krishna, okay. I think that's what I have for you guys. I think that's all I'm seeing here. I am seeing the sun a few times. So, you know, like bringing things into consciousness from the unconscious and the subconscious. Oh yeah, we have crystals here. Is that a crystal palace in the back? I don't know, I can't really tell, but you know, crystals. So these pyramids here. Uh, like sun, the sun god Ra, Egypt. So, yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Unless, is there any other messages we have? Yeah, focus on um, focus on your light. Focus on what makes you special, and not what makes that guy special. And yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Yeah, you know what I see? Um, I see holding like so. You can't see what's going on here. So it's like bringing this that hasn't established anything yet. Like bringing this you embodying it though like see how she's holding the the uh the wand which is all about you know creativity which is about inspiration which is an energy a spirit and you have her in the fog here this is holding like an idea holding a thought form and then it's bringing that thought form from that you probably gain like clear cognizantly you don't know where it came from but either way you're taking this this thought form, which we have Mercury here, which is about communication, and bring it into the consciousness, bring it into the light for everyone to see. That's what I really see you guys doing, is bringing things like from the unconscious, unconscious and the subconscious, into the light. 
here we have it so that is magical okay everyone thank you for watching please comment on the video I really appreciate it